Hello everybody, welcome back to some RC Basics. This is episode 3 and today we'll be talking about inputs such as steering, braking, and throttle and how you can maximize your corner, save your tires for stints at while racing. So let's get started. First up we have our braking. Our braking is very important. We don't want to over brake because if we over brake we're going to understeer and by triggering the ABS and we're just going to slide off the corner and miss the apex. We don't want to under brake because obviously if you under brake you're just going to fly off the corner. Okay so let's get rolling. Okay so we want to see it. We're going to go off the throttle, make a nice arc, trail break in, coast out, and find that apex. And that was a perfect corner. Okay, I'll try one more time. Spot our breaking point. Find it, off the throttle, nice arc. Nice and smooth. Same for these corners. Okay, so now we're gonna do trail braking. Trail braking is a part of braking that's very important for corners. So, you wanna find your apex, your braking point, make a nice arc, and just trail those brakes in until you find the apex and then you get back on the throttle. Okay. So, we're gonna find our braking point, and we're just gonna trail those brakes into the apex. Find it, break a nice arc, trail, get on throttle when you hit the apex. Same here. Trailing. There's no breaking that, that corner. Okay, overlapping break is a big one. This is a really one, it's a bad habit for most, it was a bad habit for me, and it kind of still is but you really need to learn this. So, overlapping your brakes, what we're gonna do it before the corner, is when you get off the throttle, but you're overlapping your brake and throttle. This is gonna make the car drag in the corner, so let's do it one more time. Look at that, that's a pretty big overlap. Right here, that's another big one. You wanna limit this as much as possible. It's gonna kill your tires, and it's gonna ruin your stint going forward. If you can do this, your stint will go longer, the tires will feel better after a stint. It won't necessarily ruin your stint, it's just going to make the tires degrade a little quicker than it would. And because they're working a little harder, trying to find the apex, and you're also making the car go forward and trying to steer. So let's do it at the corner here. So a good practice is just want to do a tiny lifting coast. And there you go, you have no overlap. Let's try it again here. No overlap. And you wanna get that green and red as close as possible to each other to make sure you got the fastest braking, but you don't want it to overlap. Same on exit as well, because you could still be trial braking and getting on the throttle. All right, let's do it at full speed now. So we're gonna let off the throttle as quickly as possible and transition without them overlapping. So let's try it here. Watch it on exit. And that was perfect. Okay, now we're gonna move on the throttle. Throttle is a big one. So throttle, we need to make sure we've gotta do all our braking first because if you get it through a turn, you're not gonna make it through a turn. We have to make sure, like I just told you, you're not overlapping and you're getting on it as smooth as possible. Now, it depends on your car. Like this car I'm driving right now, you could really just get on it and it won't spin. But for instance, if you're driving an F1 or even a car with a little more torque, it's easily gonna go around or it will start to slide. So you wanna make good practice is just doing muscle memory, stopping the car and just putting your throttle on as smooth as possible. It also really helps when you have um, a little more stiffer throttle. Okay, so now that we're stopped, okay, so now that we're stopped, good practice is just to get on that throttle smoothly and create a perfect little triangle. Easy, Easy does it, remember. 
It's easy to spin a car if you just get on, get on it too quickly. This is really good muscle memory and it's really needed when you drive other cars in this car. Okay, next up we have steering. Steering is also a big one. We wanna make sure we don't steer too much don't, and we don't steer too less because if we don't steer, again, we're just gonna go flying off the track. And if we steer too much, it's gonna create understeer and you're gonna also go flying off the track. Okay, this may you see where, but you never wanna steer with the steering wheel. You always wanna steer with the pedals. We want the trail braking to determine your steering so we can steer as little as possible and still get the grip and still find the apex. So we got a trail break in and just steer as little as possible. And this will really, really save tires over a course of stint. And your lap times will get even more, even maybe even quicker as the stint goes on because of the fuel going down because your and your tires are still in really good shape. Steer with the inputs. Next up we have gearing. This one's a pretty simple one. We'll get over this one quickly. Um, this one you just need to find your gears and what you feel is more comfortable. So a higher gear will limit the most torque and this is for more cars with more torque. So like if you wanna come around this corner in three and maybe not spin as much as you would, if you were in two, same here, you can keep it in three, but you're gonna have that, you're not gonna have the best acceleration out of the corner. Now, let's go into two. Also, if you're in a higher gear, it's gonna make it more understeery, so you always kinda wanna be in the lower gear. Number two, find the more, we find that apex. Same here. Get good acceleration. And especially with this car, there's no real slide. So it will be different in other cars, like F1 cars. You wanna have more, you wanna have a higher gear so you have like wheel spinning because that will damage the tires. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, that was episode three of Simmercy Basics. Thank you for joining me and I hope you'd see you next episode.